Hello there, welcome to another Rainy Cats Geek Expedition. This weekend I'm at Maker Fair in Newcastle, uh, a wonderful event all about engaging and having fun with technology. I'm going to show you some of the exhibits and talk to some of the people here. It's fantastic. Hi, I'm Melanie. Um, I'm a professional geek during the day and in the evening I make things. One day I was thinking about while I was making traditional bead earrings that wouldn't it be nice to make some earrings out of electronic components because some of them look nice and then I thought if you're making things out of electronic components why not make it do something so after a bit of experimentation work I came up with um, earrings that react to the light and produce light patterns on an RGB LED and they have a small microcontroller and there's a sensor and some software in the microcontroller and an RGB LED and if you change it slows down and the colour pattern changes depending on where your hand is. I do traditional um, geek so for example my BBC Micro now has Ethernet um, to connect to the outside world so I design the electronics and build the PCBs and everything like that I am Jim Bagley, um, known as Magnus on the forums. This is Parallax website, parallax.com, and there's forums on there for the propeller, the microcontroller that we're using. Um, it's got, it's like the Arduino, but it's a lot better. You've got eight um, microcontroller cores in the actual chip. You've got 32K of onboard RAM. Um, Basically, each of the cogs, which is the processors, can generate a TV, composite TV or video uh, VGA signal. On the screen here, we've got like a Wolfenstein demo running. We've got the eight cogs. One of the cogs is generating the composite screen and taking a bitmap and drawing on the screen. One of the cogs is reading the keyboard and mouse and joypad. And one of the cogs is um, doing the sound for audio. One of the cogs is control the, the main controlling program um, handling all the other cogs and the last four cogs are actually doing the ray casting and rendering the display. Yeah, but it, uh, it stops after two minutes. Um, uh, so it's currently playing that. When I stop, it will probably have built up a buffer of about 10 seconds there. So it's realised I've stopped pedalling. The net connection gets killed, and there goes the uh, there goes the music. So normally I'd be showing off YouTube and things like this on this, but as we have no net connection, the streaming music from that spot. Matt here did all the hardware. Uh, and what's it made of? Apart from a bike and computer, what was uh, it's it? Got an Great Arduino London, yeah. And tin foil. Right, basically, uh, I'm Karen Mada. Um, I, I make like plasma power supplies, like these Tesla coils. Um, basically, have markers. We we. Converting musical notes uh, from a keyboard <laughs> into a series of sparks to reproduce a musical sound. Uh, the idea being to make a musical performance. We're, we're just finishing it off now. Uh, there's quite a lot of work left to do. Um, I only actually finished building these like a couple of days ago. So uh, once we're finished, hopefully we'll be able to do a full performance. Um, uh, basically. Uh, you have to see, see when it's finished. It's fantastic, I love it. Um, where can we find out more about this? Uh, you go to brightox.com. We've only just set the website up, so it is a bit, a bit rubbish at the moment. Um, but hopefully we'll be sorting it out soon, putting some more, more images on and this sort of thing. Just receiving it. Um, so if you've got double fingers, 
It doesn't work as well. Are you filming me, mate? Uh, yes, Oli. Is that bad? Uh, trigger so in there somewhere I'm not quite sure where because I didn't do it uh, it's using the Fibonacci series so the idea is, is that well it's a bit of fun but it also uh, helps to make electronics or technology accessible This is a fluid sculpture a friend and I have recently built. Uh, the basic principle is there's a pump here, uh -huh. which is sucking the fluid through the system. The other important part is this valve, which is um, drawing either fluid from this header tank or air from the atmosphere. That's being switched by a control circuit around here, which then, um, as it goes through the tube, is put in the bubbles. Into the, into the Lovely, thank you. And, and is there somewhere online where yes, you can find um, out we, more about it? I have a website, this is not on it yet, but it will be in the next week or two, which is uh, superpants.net. Hi, I'm Jigna from BBC R&D. We're showing surround video here. The idea is to have a normal TV picture with a surrounding image. The surrounding image is there to exploit the properties of your peripheral vision, so it's very good at giving an impression of motion, and so it gives a much more immersive experience. The way it works is we shot two videos, one with a standard lens, which we're showing on the normal TV, and then a second uh, camera which had a fisheye lens, so it's got a very wide field of view. And then we're playing that back through a projector, which is bouncing off a hemispherical mirror, to provide the large field of view in this room. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mitch Altman, and I'm probably best known for creating TV Be Gone, which is a keychain that turns off TVs in public places, because TVs really do need to be off more often, and so we can have time to live a life. I'm also a co-founder of NoiseBridge, a San Francisco hackerspace, where people can come together and share what they know and learn from others and uh, teach and grow in all sorts of wonderful ways. Uh, I also go around the world and do workshops like this, uh, teaching people how to solder and how to make uh, many of the kits I make and other projects that are fun, intriguing, that you can learn from. And soldering actually is very, very easy, and all you have to do is know a few fundamental concepts, and you can create all sorts of projects on your own. So when people are making things of their own choosing, I think their lives get better, so I like showing people that as well. So that's really what uh, I'm about. Lovely. Thanks, Rich. Are you having fun at Maker Fair this oh, year? yeah. Maker Fairs are great. That's why I'm here. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Alistair. This is the percussion machine as it, it stands. Um, it has no purpose whatsoever. Let's just make that 
appeared from the start. That's the, I, I drove it midway through the week. This was supposed to be playing the music and I, I broke it. But we, we've got this and I uh, have the kids coming along and moving stuff around and uh, generally improving it for me. And they've done a marvellous job and been really creative. So, so thanks for that. And I found it in 19 moves and it took me just over 23 seconds. I hope you enjoy the rest of your visit to the Mega 4. Keep going forward. Forward. Right. 